In this video, we'll add level 3 and 4 into our game. So, let's begin. To get started, we'll have to fix one bug that I've encountered. If we go to our player, I've accidentally changed this spaceship enemy. It's not supposed to be spaceship enemy. It's actually supposed to be the enemy bullet. So if you've done it correctly, then you don't have to change this. And then we should go to our backdrop and over here, we should go to variables and bring out one, two, and three variables. And we can put this right over here. And then we'd want to change all of this to the levels that we haven't added. So level three, level four, and level five. And we'll set all of this to false. So we're going to set this to false, false, and false. Next, we'd want to go to our enemy mothership and we'd want to change and then we'd say mothership's left by negative one. And we'd put this right where we change mothership's destroyed by one. And if we go to our enemy spike shooter, I've not done this variable correctly. So this should be change um, spike shooter destroyed. And then we'd also want to change the spike shooter's left by negative one. Now that we have everything set up, we can start working on the code to create the levels. So we'd start with duplicating level two and we'll change this to when I receive a level three. And what we'll do is broadcast start game. We want to set should spawn asteroid to true. And we can remove everything after the broadcast spaceship dropper and as you can see here we would want to change asteroids left we would want to set this to 20 set spaceships left to 12 and we can go to set and we're going to add the spike shooters left and we'll set this to 3 and we'll put this under the spaceships left and that is all now we'll go to our level two and we can actually set asteroids left to 10 just to give the player more of a challenge and we can go back to our level three and we'd want to go to control and we would wait until and then go to the equals to operator and say spaceship left equals to eight and then we can bring two set variable blocks and would set the should spawn spaceship dropper and should spawn spike shooter and would set the spaceship dropper to false and the spike shooter to true and we can duplicate this and bring it down right here and instead of broadcasting the spawn spaceship dropper, we want to broadcast spawn spike shooter. And to edit this, we right click on the variable and we say wait until spike shooter left equals to two. And then we can switch this to true and this to false. And we can duplicate this by right clicking again and just broadcast spaceship dropper and actually just bring forward the whole thing and we'll broadcast spaceship dropper wait until spaceships left equals to four and this to one and then duplicate from broadcast spawn space dropper again and put this down here and then make this zero, make this zero. Okay, we can just stop this. And finally, if we just duplicate this weight until asteroids left and bring this down here. And this is what we need for our level three script. And just to test this, 
if you don't need if you don't want to go through all the levels you can just change level 3 and unlock to true in the beginning at this when flag is clicked and we'll be able to s test level 3 out immediately and we can see that the asteroid are coming and the spaceships and if we just continue fighting we should be able to go through the whole level and and after that we can start with the code for level 4 so let's go ahead and duplicate the level 3 code and what we do here is just remove everything after the wait until spaceships left and we'll change asteroids left to 30 we'll change spaceships left to 6 keep spike shooters left to 3 and then we'll set another variable and it will be the mothership so we'll set mothership left to 3 and now we can go to this right here and change it to 4 and then we would set the should spawn spike shooter to true and we can actually go ahead and bring two more set variable blocks and we'll set should spawn spaceship dropper and should spawn motherships and we can drag this all in and send set the rest to false and then we would go to events and broadcast spawn spike shooter and we can duplicate this and then just move it downwards we'll right click on this variable and say wait until spike shooters left equals to 2 and once it does we can set spike shooters to false and change the mothership to true and then we'll broadcast the mothership spawn mothership and then we would grab this right here and duplicate the wait until and right click on this and change it to mothership the uh, mothership's left and wait until it's two and once this is done we can just instead broadcast spaceship dropper set this to false and make should spawn spaceship dropper to true and now we can duplicate this spaceship's left and put it under it, this and wait until this is two this is one and this is one and you can duplicate it from the wait until spaceship left equals to two and just bring it down here and now we can change this to zero change this to zero and change this to zero as well and all we need to do to round this off is wait until asteroids equal to zero so we just duplicate this from the level three so right click on the wait until block and drag it to the bottom and this should be it so here would set level four unlocked to true for the level three block and would set level five unlocked to true so that's all we need to do here now we just need to edit the missions so if we go to our asteroids icon we can just duplicate this twice so duplicate duplicate and change this to when I receive level 3 and this to when I receive level 4 do the same for the spaceship we duplicate and duplicate to this to level 3 and this to level 4 and for our mothership we would want to bring it up so that we can import some code into it and the spike shooter as well so we need these two to be up and then we can bring the when flag clicked when level select menu and when i receive level one and we can do the same for the spike shooter
and if we open the first one we can see that the variable is not corresponding for the mothership icon so we can change this to motherships left and we can just duplicate this remove this put it here duplicate and move it and put it here and go to looks we're going to bring out a show and go to variables and bring out a show variable and you'll use this a bit later on so let's just duplicate this change it to level 2 duplicate this and change it to level 3 and duplicate it one more time for level 4 and instead of hiding we can show it and we want to show the motherships left and we can do the same for our spike shooter um, if we instead of hiding the variable spaceships left we change it to spike shooters left and just replace these two variables and if we just duplicate this to level 2 and then for level 3 we want to show it since in level 3 we have the spike shooter and then we can go to variables and we would want to show the variable spike shooters left duplicate this again and change this to level 3 and level 4 and now we can go to the spaceship spawner and would want to do something here so right here we do not care if it's hit by a bullet anymore because this will um it doesn't do anything good to our game it will end up in bugs if we leave this if touching bullet script for the enemy spaceship dropper so let's just go ahead and remove this script and then we can go to our mothership and as you can see here this weight block is not in the correct loop we want to bring it into the if statement so there should be one two little lines under it and this is how it should be so that should be it let's go ahead and test our levels but before we do that let's set this to false and play the game from the beginning and right after we do that before we test the game let's go to our mothership and let's increase the health to 12 and now that we've set this to 12 we just need to do one final thing if you go to our backdrops um, we need to change this when I receive to level 4 the one where we have the asteroids left to 30 spaceships to 6 spike shooters to 3 and motherships left to 3 and then after that we can just go and scroll downwards and remove this spawn spaceship dropper we don't need to broadcast that and there we go that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video and in that video we'll be adding music and sound effects to our game so make sure to stay tuned for that goodbye mm -hmm.